gentlemen, boys and girls, have we got a topic to talk about today. Now, as all of you already know, either from just looking it up on the internet or hearing about it through something or on the channel, either one, the 49ers have traded up to the third pick. We already, that's old news. We already know about that. That's not what we're talking about. We are going to be talking about the pick that is right after them. Number four and the Atlanta Falcons. Yes, we are going to be talking about Atlanta and what they should do, in my opinion, with the fourth pick. Now, there's been a lot of speculation that there's been some teams that have picked up the phone, dialed, they've, they've dialed Atlanta, seeing if they uh, want to trade that pick. And they, the Falcons have said that they're open to trading the pick. Now, I believe them. I believe that they're open to trading the pick. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be open to at least hearing what people have to offer? That's just, that's just simple. Like, that's just good business, being open to all offers. You don't have to take. That doesn't mean you have to take the offer, but you can be open and listen to the offer. So we already know that Lawrence is going one, Wilson's going two, Mac Jones three. So we know three quarterbacks are headed out the door in the top three picks. Now, number four is the Falcons, obviously. And they have one Matt Ryan, who is on a very, very hefty contract, shall we say. And they can't get rid of that contract. They can't get rid of Matt Ryan because they'd be eating so much dead money that it would be, it would be bad for them to get rid of Matt Ryan. That's how much money he is making. So Matt Ryan will be the starter for at least the start of the season or for a couple games or whatever. He will be the starter for Atlanta next season. Now, what they should do with the pick, in my opinion, is I think that they need to take a skill position player, best, best player available, whether it be Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, uh, Deontay Smith, or Devontae Smith, excuse me, um, Waddle, whatever, whoever they, whatever they want to take, I think they need Penny Sewell, anybody, anybody that's there besides a quarterback, besides Justin Fields, because I think that Justin Fields is going to go to Denver because the picks after Atlanta, none of those teams need a quarterback. And then Denver comes up at nine, I'm pretty sure. And they need a quarterback. So I think Justin goes to Denver unless there's some crazy trade that happens the night of. Now, I don't think that Atlanta is the one that trades the pick. I think they do take somebody, whether it be one of those guys that I mentioned. And I think that they should take one of those guys because, yes, Matt Ryan has been down for the past couple of seasons ever since losing and choking in the Super Bowl. And I personally don't like the Falcons or Matt Ryan. I don't think Matt Ryan is was ever any good. Really, I thought he was just a solid, just a regular quarterback. But, I mean, hey, that's just my opinion. Um, but I do think that Matt Ryan can be a serviceable quarterback for a couple more years while they figure out what they want to do with the rest of the team, and then they go in and they take a quarterback or they, they trade for a quarterback or whatever. Uh, because Matt, it's, it's all down to Matt Ryan's crazy contract that he has. He cannot, you cannot get rid of that contract unless you want to eat so much dead money that it just, it would be bad for you to trade it, that contract away. So, so you got to play him. You can't just sit him on your bench. I guess they could, but why would you sit him on your bench when he's still a pretty decent quarterback? He's like, he could have a, he could have an up year this year. So I think that they need to take, I think that they need to take one of the skill position players that's there or Penny Sewell or something like that, keep Matt Ryan, and then, or they listen to the trade, they listen to the offers, because I've been, I've been hearing that the Patriots have called. I've been hearing that, who else, who else did I hear that called? The Giants, I think. No, not the Giants. The, the, uh, who was the, uh, I just thought about them. Football team. That's who I was thinking of. It was the same division, just wrong team. The football team were, were in on the calls. At least that's just rumors. I don't know if it's true. Uh, so I don't know how much stock to put in the Patriots. Put in. I mean, I, I believe that they, they picked up the phone and they called Atlanta. I don't know if they have the assets or the pieces to, to really move up. And do they really like Justin? I don't know. That's a whole different video. That's a whole different conversation on who I think the Patriots uh, should take or who I think they like in, in this draft. I don't know. 
So I think either the Falcons need to take a skill position player or they need to trade back and then get some more picks, accumulate this stuff, start to rebuild a little bit because this Atlanta team has the talent, but it's old. Their talent on offense is a little bit older than it used to be. Julio, not the same player that he used to be. He's still very good. Julio Jones is still a very talented wide receiver, but he's not the same wide receiver that he used to be. They do have Calvin Ridley, who's a very talented wide receiver, but he can't carry that team by himself. Uh, they don't really have a running back because Todd Gurley is a little bit older, some injury history. He could still be Todd Gurley, but you never really know. That offensive line is a little bit weak, so that's why I think maybe they take Penny Sewell. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they need to take a quarterback, though. I guess you could. The argument against that would be you take a quarterback, you take Justin Fields or Trey Lance or whoever you like, and have them sit behind Matt Ryan, learn the offense, and then either at the end of the season or midway through the season or next season even, then they ascend to be the starter, and then you sit Matt Ryan down or you trade him, and then the cap money against the dead money against Matt Ryan wouldn't be as much if you had a year a year prior or a year later. So I guess they could do that, but I think they need to take a skill position player, a Penny Sewell or something like that, or maybe Micah Parsons or something, something other than a quarterback, and then or trade the pick away and then build from there. I, I don't think they take Justin Fields. I don't think they, they take Trey Lance or whoever else is left, whoever else is. I don't think there's any really quarterbacks left besides those two guys that are really that good, uh, at least first-round talent. But that's my opinion on what the Falcons should do. I think they need to take something, something else other than a quarterback. But who knows? I guess we'll find out on draft day what they do with the number four pick. And hey, by the time this video goes out, they may have already traded the pick. I don't, I don't know. This video goes out at noon. So who knows what happens? Who, who knows? This this video may not age very well. I don't I don't know. We'll have to find out. Leave me leave a comment down below what you guys think will happen, what you guys think will happen with the Falcons. If you think that they will trade the pick, or you think they'll draft a quarterback or a skill position player or something like that, or what they'll do. So let me know down below in the comments. Smash that like button, join the juice club. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.